Howdy everyone, Pocha here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we're going to talk about the Heroes of a Rat event and resource management around this event but before we get into it I want to say that tomorrow I am doing a live stream on my Arcane Chest opening for Rhiannon. We have plenty of coins saved up so hopefully we can get pretty far into the event, fingers crossed so feel free to come and watch that. Also in my Discord server, the link is in the description below, we are doing a small giveaway Thanks to Playcott specifically, Anastasia, the CM community manager, she hit me up and said she's happy to give out some chests to the community. So we're giving out five regular chests. It's not a huge deal, but who knows, that may be the chest you win and it may have that seven arcane star grok that you've been dying for all this time. Makes all the difference. A free chest is a free chest. So feel free to come. And again, thank you to Anastasia for sorting that out. So let's get into the video and the event and what you need to know about it. The newest feature slash event to come to the game is the Legends of Arat. Now you can see this by clicking Heroes and at the very top of the screen, you can't see it on mine, it has Heroes, Skins and then Legends of Arat. You click on that and it brings up Thanark. He is the first Legend of Arat. He is not the last, there will be more. Okay, this is just the new way of obtaining certain heroes released into the game. It will not be the only way, but very powerful heroes will be released into this store. Now, it is important to note that these heroes can only be unlocked with legendary talismans. It is also important to note that their arcane stars can only be unlocked with legendary talismans as well. So you cannot buy their, their arcane stars with silver and gold tokens. Now, like any new feature brought into the game, the legendary talismans are extremely hard to get. Compare them to gold tokens when they first came out. Very, very difficult to get. In fact, I think the only way to get gold tokens when they first came out was through tournament. I could be wrong, but that's the only one I can remember. Now there are several ways. I have no doubt, I could be very wrong, but I have no doubt the same will happen with the legendary talismans. Over time, there will be new ways to obtain them, but as of right now, extremely difficult. So this has now become a very valuable currency and you need to manage it. It's as simple as that, but we'll go over how to manage it. We'll go over how to obtain it. So how to obtain legendary talismans at the moment. There's one way slash 1.5, one and a half ways to get legendary talismans. The first one is through the hero events that come through the game. Now we're all aware of these events. We can click on events here and we can see the current one is Rhiannon, okay? Before this was a Valar, I think. Before that, uh, Mordred, I think was one of them, but we've all, we're all aware of it, okay? We clear the stages, we get tokens and we open chests. This event now comes with a second feature, the Rhiannon, the hero journey. This is a feature within the event. It's going to get complicated, but I hope I'm explaining it well. Now, every time you unlock golden stars for these heroes, you will unlock a stage. Every time you unlock an arcane star for these heroes, you will unlock a stage. There are 14 stages all up. Seven for gold, seven for purple stars, okay? As you can see, I have six golden stars and three purple stars, which together equals nine, and I've unlocked the ninth stage. And you can see by unlocking the stages, I'm collecting golden talismans, okay? Now, collecting the gold stars is pretty straightforward. We're all very familiar with the event. We clear the stages, we get the tokens, we open chests and we pray to God, Iron Jesus is on our side and he gives us shards for the hero. He gives us lots of shards. That's how we get the golden tokens. The arcane stars are different because the arcane stars for these new heroes are not going to be released in the token shop. So how do we get them? The arcane stars now come with a exclusive event for the event hero. So I can open arcane chests and for every X amount of arcane chests I open, I am guaranteed the next star for the hero. Now this is important to note because now this is where resource management heavily comes into play, especially for free to play, low and medium spenders because you do not want to be wasting your arcane chests just because you're trigger happy. If you are getting 2,000 coins and you are opening a chest, it is unwise. 
the best strategy for you and your account is to save these coins and wait till these events come around and then try and make sure you've got enough coins to unlock the star. You don't want to be opening the coins. Sure, say I've got 10,000 coins right now. I can open five chests. Five chests is not going to get me that arcane star. It would be a waste to spend them. My best bet would be saving them for the next event so I can get the arcane star, which unlocks a stage, which gets me more gold and talismans. That is now resource management for arcane stars. There's a lot to it. I'm not saying you have to. By all means, if you are trigger happy, open those arcane chests every chance you get. However, by doing so, you are slowly going to start putting your account backwards, okay? This is just gonna allow you to get the golden tokens and then use them how you see fit. Now, the hero events that come around where you can get these arcane stars for heroes, where you can get these golden talismans are not in correspondence to the legend of a rat heroes. And what I mean by this is every time one of these hero events comes around doesn't mean a new legend of a rat hero is going to be released. There is a few months in between each new hero. The event heroes will come out as they have always been coming out, but the actual legend of a rat heroes, the Thane Args, and then whoever comes out after that, these heroes are going to be released gradually over time. Now, this is good because there's not as much pressure in farming those legendary tokens. However, it is still a very valuable, valuable resource. Now, this isn't going to cater to the whales because they're going to be able to do whatever they want. That's that's We all are aware of that. What you now need to understand as a free-to-play player, a low spender, a medium spender, is how do you want to spend these golden talismans? You may get 100 golden talismans and you may be able to unlock Thane Ark, but remember, his arcane stars also cost golden talismans. So... At what point does a hero become usable in a sense? Is it five gold stars, five arcane stars? The amount will differ between each person. But there is very little rush to just unlock a hero. Thanarg is permanently in this store. He's not going anywhere. When the next hero is released, he is permanently in this store. He's not going anywhere. So again, as a free-to-play player, as a low spender, medium spender, save your golden talismans until you are ready to make a purchase. When you believe you can make the best choice with the heroes available to you, then go ahead. Don't get 100 golden tokens and just purchase Thanarg because you want to, okay? You have to remember your account is forever changing. You need to make decisions that are best for you at that time. So what I'm looking at when I look at Thanarg and he is a great hero. Do not get me wrong. He is really strong. He would be worth getting. But are my orcs unusable without him? Or with him, sorry. Without, with, with. I can easily still use my orcs without Thane Arc. I could use the arcane leadership and use my orcs. They're still fine. So if I was a low spender, a medium spender... Uh, not spending at all, I would say to myself, okay, how necessary is Thane Arg? He may be better in some raids, he may be better in some events, but what will the next hero be and how will that change my decision? The important thing is just your resource management. Don't rush your decision. There is time. The heroes are there. Wait, be patient. Okay, maybe make your first purchase when you have enough legendary talismans to buy this hero and arcane stars at the same time. So they're at least usable to you. I don't think there could be a worse feeling than purchasing a hero and not being able to use them because they just do not survive against the content you are up to. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. Just be careful with your resources. Save your arcane coins, save them for these events. Okay, save your golden talismans until you're ready to make an informed choice. Remember, there are plenty of people out there who are very informed, who knows what's going on and can help you make the decision. Okay, like I said, join my Discord server if you're unsure. Happy to help you whenever I can. And there are people in there, um, Palin, for example, um, 
there are definitely others. He's just the first one that comes to mind who are very knowledgeable players and can help you make good choices. But there you go. Remember, tomorrow, doing a stream on my Arcane Chess opening. I have plenty of coins. It's going to be a long stream, so buckle in. But would love to have you there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And if you're on the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.